A duck house? For less than a pint of beer? You gotta be having a tin bath, Lee, ain't you? Wait and see, guys. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel in Thailand with Toon and Lee and today is a project day Toon's um, flying solo doing it I'm still uh, cheating death from my vicious scorpion sting so uh, I've just had a little hobble down here see how Deary's getting on So the reason a, a new duck house is being put up is we're looking to put more of the ducks from round the house down here and this old duck house that we threw up when we got our initial lot of ducks <coughs> is just going to be too small for them all. It, also the, the geese have started laying eggs in here as well so um, we don't want any raucous goings on in there because we've had a few broken duck eggs when the geese go in there. So um, we'll keep this here uh, just for the geese. And then this will be the new plush pad for all the Campbells. We're still gonna leave a few around the house, but not many. Uh, the idea is to keep them in a small group. Um, we're gonna try and get the Campbells to sit on their own eggs, which isn't very common, but we'll, we'll give it a go. Uh, and then they can stay with the Muscovies as well. So we'll probably have about 20 ducks near the house and over a hundred here. How's it going, missus? Hi. Hey. Any frog in, froggy frog frog? Oh, a lot. A lot, why is that? My Hit your fan. These are the, uh, the last of the uh, free roofing sheets that were salvaged from Toon's Mum's old poultry house. Uh, once these are up, once I'm uh, up to uh, full match fitness again, we'll be putting the uh, 45 degree corner bracings on. So they can uh, lay their eggs in here, hopefully, away from the eagar, the crows. Uh, and then come out and wander around after that. Whereas back here, they're just uh, locked away until they come down first thing in the morning. So they probably, they probably come out half an hour, 45 minutes earlier if, if we had the, uh, the little outside bit for them. Only thing is, if they lay their eggs outside, then the uh, the crows get them. So um, I don't know. We might put some netting over the top or something like that. I don't like any crows stealing the eggs because once they get one, then they they come back in numbers and they'll be around here all day. But not looking too bad. Not bad for now. All this has cost so far are the uh, the roofing nails and the nails to put the, uh, the posts together. Of course the timber won't last forever, but it's all been treated with termite killer. So we should get a good, all oh, these I would say a year and a half, maybe two years. It's a lot of sadao wood there. Now this, this little one was our first one, which is over a year old and it's still going strong and that hasn't been treated, but it has got some termite damage. But you don't have to make it posh for ducks. In fact, it's recommended that you don't make it too, too plush for them. Uh, what I did read up about was make sure that the entrance is at proper ground level, don't have any steps up or anything like that. Uh, don't make it watertight, so let the elements in there a little bit. And uh, they don't need a lot of room night time. 
at night time these Campbells don't don't do anything they just they just huddle together you're gonna get some new sisters aren't you so at the moment what are we down to now we've got 25 females and two drakes in here um, gonna be touching a hundred um, they recommend one drake to about ten girls so boys town is gonna get pillaged and uh, we'll bring a few boys from there we've also got three young ducks that uh, Bitty our guy ban hen has uh, raised so they'll be coming down here as well she's also sitting on another seven or so hopefully they'll start hatching in the next day or two so most of the ducks will be here Vince and his two girls um, hopefully the numbers will increase yep We've got eight geese eggs down here and uh, another two that the Muscovies are sitting on near the house. Good idea. Can you send this piercing to me? Yeah. Same. Too short. They're all the same then. Oh dear, you're going to have to use two together, aren't it? Ah, what about this? Right, I think that'll do for now. Just a short one today, guys. My The poison in my foot is making its way to my heart, so I need to go and sit down. Uh, two needs to get busy. I want this done by lunchtime, missus. All right. Love you too, dear. <laughs> okay, so they've had two nights in their new luxurious apartment. And uh, not before time, because before I show you the uh, executive suite, I'm just going to show you in here. These two ladies. So they're sitting on about 12 or 13 eggs at the moment and uh, it was getting a bit a bit of a squeeze in here with the ducks as well so and, uh, three or four duck eggs got uh, cracked. So we're, we're racing against time to get these guys in here, uh, we don't lock them away at night uh, and get the ducks into their new pad. So let's show you it, you will be impressed I know. So total cost was about 45 baht for a packet of nails to put the roof sheets on. Everything that you see here, Vince, settle down fella. We're trying to record a video, aren't we? Everything you see here uh, was either sourced from Toon's mum's place, um, found on our land or chopped down from our land or bits and bobs that were um, pillaged from our old village house, the garden there, and we, we brought it all down. So, I, I've got to start you off with my favourite bit, which is the uh, glide roll lock mechanism gate. I'll try and do this one-handed, but it won't be a problem because, check it out, Look at that. Now, you won't be surprised to know, looking at the quality of my needlework up here, that I was five years a uh, master seamstress. So, no eager, no crows can get in here, apart from my little access curtain there so they've even got their own curtain glide roll system operational and here we go feast your eyes upon it so the idea was to keep some open to the elements ducks don't like to be uh, 
kept all penned up um, out of the weather so we've got this bit here it's a nice size so old roofing sheets around the bottom and then just old netting that we've got left over up around there so um, I have done a little bit of clickbait guys it did cost more than 45 baht uh, it cost 445 baht because we paid our, our new farm helping hand 400 baht to work a day so he uh, he chopped down the big posts for us dug the holes put that up and basically put the framework up and Toon and I did the corner bracings Toon put the sheets on the top which you saw the other day uh, and then I put the uh, the netting up and the old roofing sheets on the bottom so it looks gash I mean I know some people out in Thailand have their uh, their gardens and their uh, poultry areas look bloody posher than our house but we don't care guys we, we do it on a strict budget and uh, we are quite proud of our achievements it may all fall down in two or three years but for 445 baht we can just throw it up again and uh, we can resource we can reuse all these materials again in the future so it works for us at the moment I just put an old board on the bottom there on the floor so when you throw the food in here um, we've got like a lot of powder food it doesn't all just go straight into the soil so there's less waste there and we'll be doing a video on on what we feed them and how to keep your costs down soon and the numbers are up by three because yesterday Toon and I brought our three young ducks down here to join this flock so the two boys and, and one girl there they are there they're still sort of trying to uh, fit in the other two drakes you can see the one on the end there he's uh, nicknamed Harry the Bastard he doesn't, he doesn't play well with others but uh, he tried to dig, jig the young girl and uh, she's not ready for it she wasn't having it so he's, he's quite moody but he's idly going short is he there's 25 other girls to have a go at but yeah they all seem to be getting on quite well uh, just takes a little bit to get them in at night whereas before they knew um, knew the score and they were straight back in here but of course it was uh, it was getting a little bit raucous with the uh, the geese old Vince is like a dog with two dicks I tell you he's the man he is like uh, it's like the bloody SS going around here now his two lady girls are sitting on the eggs he's doing his his father to be bit so uh, yeah that'll keep the neighbours up if we had any try and get a outside shot for you Water level's dropping on the pond now. It's gone down, oh, I should say a foot and a half. Uh, right at the end of the dry season, this will have probably dropped another foot, foot and a half. It was a bit lower last season because, last dry season, because we pumped a load of water out here to, to get the pond started. All looking good. Some big fish coming up when the, uh, the ducks shit in the water. Remember, we're not eating these fish, guys. We're not, we don't eat pooey fish. Please remember that. Don't start blardy blaring. So a lot of these weeds, the ducks aren't, or the geese aren't um, eating. So I'm gonna have to get Honda the strimmer out and get round here again, clear it out. But uh, the long-term plan is to get about another 30 or 40 ducks, maybe a few more from the uh, from the house area. We want the numbers down there and increase it here so there's they've done their job back at the house they've cleared all the area we just want a few there to maintain it we don't want too many ducks near the house otherwise it's going to pen and ink in the wet season there he is Harry's after them again she's too young mate you get thrown into duck prison chasing that lovely stuff uh, I did want to record this two days ago, one, the, the day we'd actually finished and put the ducks in for the first time, but we've just been so busy. What was that? Gigantor. 
I am concerned a little bit about when... Oh. Oh. He went subsurface. Uh, I'm a little bit concerned about when we get some uh, gooselings when they uh, take to the water because there's some bloody big catfish in here and big paku as well. I know paku is supposed to be vegetarian but believe you me they eat everything in here. Um, so I'm a little bit concerned about that. But am I worrying unnecessarily? Maybe because uh, the drakes and vince they've still got their their aquatic penises so when when they jig in the water when they get off the female their uh, their long wiggly penises are dangling in the water and no fish have grabbed hold of them so i'm probably worrying a bit unnecessarily and the ducks and any ducklings and geeselings will be all right well we won't put ducklings in here but um once the geese hatch i don't know Hopefully they'll be protective enough and they'll be all right. If not, we'll have to steal them and put them near the house. We've got two other goose eggs that uh, we stole from here and we've put them underneath. It's just come up again, that big fish. Uh, we've put them underneath the Muscovies. We've got three girls laying eggs. It looks like they've just finished laying their eggs. It looks like about 30 or 40 there. And now they're sitting on them. So um, we've put a couple of goose eggs there. We weren't sure how many they were going to lay here so we're just hedging our bets, put a few there and leave the majority here and and uh, see what results we get. Those new ducks love the water. Look at that. I don't think it's evasive manoeuvres from Harry but they love it. Quite easy to lose half a day down here just talking to your animals okay so the next video probably be in another two or three days um, that'll be quite a lengthy one as well guys um, because it will be I don't know whether you can see it through the fence I might have to use my patented finger pointing uh, the solar construction over there uh, has been increased and we've uh, concreted the floor there as well and we've got the panels on the top and we've got the control panel underneath with the inverter and stuff like that and we're just going to hook the batteries up today so once that's up and running we'll uh, we'll show you that installation i don't want to show you it before i turn it on just in case it's an epic fail but uh, that'll be the next one for you okay thanks for watching as always guys take care out there and uh just remember, you don't need to spend a fortune, do you? Set off for now.